Hi, this is Michael St. John with Action Karate, and I'm here with Jacqueline Scott, who is the owner and enrollment director at our Fairmount location in Philadelphia. And uh, Jackie, can you just share a little bit about, you know, your career pre-Action Karate, what you were doing professionally? Sure. So I uh, went to Temple University and I studied business communication. And after I graduated, I started my career in human resources. Um, I was there. I started as um, like a like a, a coordinator, and then moved my way up to a human resource director, um, where I spent a lot of my time dealing with employment relations, so like the legal side of HR. Um, so I was responsible for investigations, legal work, um, any laws that related to employees. So. Yeah, 12 years in human resources before I uh, joined the Action Karate team. So you had this, you know, amazing career. What led you to make the decision to leave that and start your own business? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, a, you know, it wasn't something that I took lightly. Like I said, I had this, honestly, it was a fantastic career and they had sort of fast tracked me to, uh, you know, run HR for the company one day and, you know, had a ton of opportunities. But, you know, at the end of the day, what I did day to day was I was the worst part of people's lives. Like I, I wrote them up, I fired them, I suspended them. Like it was just like very um, overwhelmingly negative. And uh, sort of the switch or the light for me was being able to be the best part of somebody's day. Um, and to like see the you know, the children and even the, like the adults just sort of light up once they uh, got some direction. So it was really the opportunity to completely switch being the worst to the best part of somebody's day that really uh, pushed me over the edge. What was the most challenging part for you of making the transition? Uh, the most challenging part was, you know, in my job, I was very much a subject matter expert. Like I if you came to me, I knew if I didn't know, I would go figure out. And I, and I, I really enjoyed that part of it, sort of being the expert and knowing everything that there was to know, or, you know, knowing how to find out if not. And then the most challenging part was, you know, stepping into this new world where I am a total beginner, totally uncomfortable, like had never even thought about owning my own business and sort of having to learn the hard way, I guess, you know, the, the good hard way, of course, there's a team around to support you, but not initially knowing the answer was very challenging and very hard for me at first. And still something that like, you know, you know, still kind of new for me, there's always something that, um, that I'm learning new. So just sort of having to embrace the beginner's mindset was pretty tricky. Um, but you know, just take it one day at a time. Now that your, you know, your location has been open for almost three years. Almost three years. Right? Uh, what's the most rewarding part of what you get to do now? Um, the most rewarding part, it really hasn't changed very much from day one, is being able to make that impact on the lives. But really what I've so enjoyed that I, I really didn't know that I would is it extended so far past just the kids in the class and is really like having the community that's been built in my school. So like all of my students, but their families and some of their extended families. And then, you know, all of the neighbors um, like along, you know, our Avenue and just the community, the teachers, the, the schools, I mean, just like the network has grown so much and just being able to be, um, you know, sort of um, a part of the community and a very po positive impact on that. So I think that's uh, that's still it. It's still what uh, drives me to keep going. Yeah, that's amazing. If anybody uh, watching has any questions, is it okay to share your information with them? I would love that. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah.